Self-esteem is one of the main pillars of being a more confident version of yourself. So in this video, what I wanna do is to teach you a really powerful technique, which is gonna help you to solidify self-esteem in your life. Self-esteem will allow you to bounce back quicker, to know that you're doing the best you can do, and to know that it's only a matter of time before you find that right way. Add to that, people around you are gonna tell you that you're crazy for even attempting to try something new, that you should just stop, do what you've always done, because you're good at that. But that old thing you do, isn't giving you the same happiness and self-esteem that you wish it gave you. So instead you need to pivot, you need to start trying something new and that's okay. Remember if people are telling you you're doing something wrong and you end up doing what they say, then your self-esteem isn't on point. You need to listen and understand what they're saying but think, I know what I want to do. So this leads us nicely onto the technique which is to realize that self-esteem comes from within. So you need to do a little bit of work on yourself in order to build that. First, ask yourself, what is it that you're good at? Tell me about your strengths. Tell me about all the good things that you do and you feel you can do. The next part is really tough, is to look at your weaknesses. And by looking at your weaknesses, what you might feel is a sense of anxiety, tension, stress. You don't have the tools in order to get better at doing those things. So you end up going backwards, not actually addressing them, not looking at them. And if you're never gonna address and look at them, you're never gonna feel confident enough to know that you have what it takes to go and do them because you never would have tried. Remember, if you're always listening to other people telling you, don't try, don't do anything, no wonder you haven't gotten the self-esteem to give it a go. So really you need to start thinking, okay, how can I start to accomplish those parts of myself which are a weak part, a part that I don't know how to do? Or instead of actually trying to do those things, think of a way around them so you don't actually need to do it. So for me, I always like talking, which is why YouTube is perfect for me because even if no one watches my videos, I enjoyed doing the whole process, which led me to feel more confident in other areas of my life too. It's all about maximizing the parts that you're really good at. But then something else came up, which is I didn't know how to edit. So through knowing that I enjoy YouTube and I got the self-esteem from doing the videos, I went on some courses, I watched some more YouTube videos teaching how to edit, and I realized that I could do it. It just took a little bit of time for me to get there. And that's okay, because through having the self-esteem to know that I can do it, it made it so, okay, it might take me a little bit longer than other people, and my YouTube channel might be a bit different from many other self-help YouTube channels, but I'm doing it my way and that's okay. Self-esteem then is just knowing that if you put your mind to something, you can do it. Remember to keep on trying and don't listen to other people, which is why self-esteem is one of the pillars of confidence. Again, just knowing what you need to do in any given situation. So this is the end of part one of my confidence playlist. And next time, what I wanna do is to talk to you about the next logical step, which is self-worth. You have the self-esteem to know that you can do it. Next week, let's discuss giving yourself the time and the space to go out and do it. So make sure you subscribe to see that video and also plenty more videos to come. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, bye bye.